Welcome back once again to Marvel Puzzle Quest with me, P.I. McLeod. Um, we have a nice standard regular video here as we creep towards the ninth anniversary set of login rewards. Getting there. Um, Dupe is in the game now. Uh, I'm going to confess, I don't know Dupe. <laughs> I don't. But I've looked at the powers, I've looked at his synopsis, and I've looked at doing a little Googling to kind of figure out where he came from, what his origin is, all that junk. There seems to be a few stories behind him, and that's cool. They um, kind of only cover a little bit here. But um, I do like how they say U.S. science experiment. Check. Alien. Check. Being from another dimension. It's kind of neat stuff there. But anyways... There's all kinds of powers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in purple. And I think it's the same for each color. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, only eight for yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just six for blue. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They're still really good. And there's a lot of passives in there, too. You want them to be part Polaris, part Kate Pride, if you want, part Professor X, part Hella, part like it, it's just ridiculous the amount of things you could do with them. There's a lot of combo game you can do, uh, especially since, like, if you think about it, you could set them to be Polaris like and Professor X like, and then team them with Polaris and Professor X. I mean, it's kind of kind of neat, like, what you could do. Uh, obviously, you don't get the whole character's kit, but just you know, a couple of key powers and. Well, you could do some fun things. Um, but anyways, don't have him yet. He's brand spanking new. What are we here for today, really? Then I mean, we can talk about how it's double ISO days on uh, in our PVEs. You know, like, yay, ISO 8 times 2. That's cool. You know, if you need ISO 8, I implore you to go for it. There's plenty of players I know out there, even some in my alliance, that still need and beg for ISO to champ their characters. You know, until you get to the point where you're post ISO, you should really try to scrape for all the ISO you can. It's, it is one of the biggest currencies in the game, until you get past it. Anyways, what am I here for? Deadpool Daily, Crash the Titans. Once again, I want to comment how I like how uh, two weeks ago we started this up. Um, well, over two weeks ago, but you know, it was Lady Deadpool that had this set up. And then last week we have the five star Deadpool with the uh, one the single Crash the Title says tie Crash of the Titans setup, and now we got good old classic three star Deadpool with this up, and it makes me wonder are we gonna get the uh, X Force, you know Deadpool next time? It'd be kind of cool if we do. Anyways, Crash the Titans got two of them to do. Let's dive in. First one on the left, Crash the Titans against five star Thor. Oh, boy. Boy, did this guy make a stir when he joined the game. Right off the rip. When P when people saw 5-star Thor and they saw his power set, um, it did not take long for anyone to say, Oh, so when he's at half health, he just gives you passively 5 AP in red, yellow, and or green from the board, doing the damage and getting the AP. Board shake can happen. Are you kidding me? And, and and just days like that, just a turn after turn after turn, he quickly became the best yellow AP generator in the game. He still pretty much holds that record. It's really hard to get anyone more efficient at gathering yellow AP than him. Um, red and green, you can get from other sources too, but he's still up there in contention with them. The only drawback is you have to have him at half health. It doesn't work on defense. You know, if you if you put this character out there in a fight and then someone goes to fight against you, they're fighting a full health Thor. So you're not getting that guaranteed half health goodness of him just constantly getting AP, doing damage, causing board shake every turn. So no, he's not the best on defense. But on offense, you need a guy to do all those things we just talked about passively. This guy's it. He started out as, like, Okoye's best friend, basically feeding her yellow and red all the time. Uh, people made strategies around him and still do. Like, okay, if I can get Okoye 10 levels higher than Thor, 
you know, I have a permanent tank for him. Um, he works well with uh, Apocalypse, too. Get Apocalypse above his level by a certain amount. And what do you know? You're feeding Apocalypse yellow and red. Um, he's scary. He's scary good. Um, thankfully, not so much on defense. But still, if you're hitting the enemy team and you bring him down below half health and you don't have a plan to deal with that, ooh, you kind of dug your own grave then. Um He's not impossible to beat. He's not horribly hard to deal with, but he is something you have to think about. So, anyways, who do we get to go against five star Thor with? I don't know. I'm just going to drop my phone right now like I just asked him I did. Let's see. Go. Well, we're doing the movie thing. It's main event Hulk, the four star that joined right alongside five star Thor. Um, this Hulk uh, obviously takes after that one glade. Well, the whole theme of that movie that gladiator scene okay um and he kind of really how am i gonna say this he's themed around being like this crowd pleasing gladiator right but to be fair um his main attraction is his green the main thing people use him for is just this just a passive that start of the turn start of the battle i'm sorry destroy seven random tiles you get no ap or damage for it but it's the board shake the board shake could give you ap could give you uh could do um damage stuff like that okay um it's just a possibility um and then at the start of the turn swap two random pairs of tiles so you lower it down it swaps a lesser tile and lesser board shake in the beginning but um it's that swap um you people are always hoping for potentially getting an extra match out of it setting up a match five or at least maybe a match four um just you know causing general chaos on the board the only negative is sometimes it goes against you you got a match five set up and then hulk's grand entrance ruins it but you know it it's a chance you take um the other powers are okay um it's really cost and efficiency they have to worry about here. I'm going to go skip down to his yellow because I feel like it's easier to um, gloss over real quick. Crowd goes wild. I'll put up to five just so you can see the full numbers. Um, create five, three turn, four, four to five yellow countdowns. When they tick down, you either deal damage to the enemy team, give Hulk a burst of health, or gain two random AP. Okay, I put it down to three because, well, you'll find out. Okay. Um, it's not bad. It's just, it costs a lot. It's 12 yellow, and then their countdowns, sure, they're fortified, but, I mean, they can get nullified. They can get wrecked. Um, you can't control what they're going to do. Are they going to do damage? Is that what you looked for? Are they, do you need the AP out of them? Uh, is Hulk almost dead and you need health? You can't control what's going to happen, and that's the problem, is that you really don't know, so that's why I don't put stock into it. What you can control is Game of Power Bomb if you get the whopping 14 purple for it. Yeah, it's worth it though. 10,000 damage. It's okay. It's a little light on the damage part of it. But five random critical tiles. You know how much damage you're doing right there alone? I'm assuming you're putting in, you know, like a lot of care people will use a five star to do some extra damage, match damage on the side. It doesn't matter who your five star is, especially if you're using like, I don't know, Shang-Chi or Colossus or, you know, Adam Warlock, someone with some extra match damage already. And then you throw this in there. Ugh, ridiculous. Or heck, screw that. Let's go four star territory. Karnak would is is good friends with this dude in this case or america chavez or dark beast or the blob or the juggernaut or rhino someone with extra match damage and even ghost would like it um you it's the problem is you need 14 purple so if you can get find a way to get the purple and there's plenty of ways to get purple in this game um this is a nice power to team up with some sort of big old tanky bruiser we got to use this guy to beat down five star Thor. And unfortunately that means getting through that whole passive when he gets to five star or the five star when he gets to half health or less, that's going to be the hard part. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to try to store as much purple as we can get that purple stored up and we're going to wait till he gets down to half health and then we unleash it. 
don't power bomb him too early. You want to make sure he's ready to be half health, and then you power bomb him into the earth and make sure he never stands up again. Okay, that's the idea. Ready, go. Oh yeah, it's one-on-one -on -one fights, right? So, um, oh no. Can I restart this for you guys? Here, let me turn on the uh, character effects, and then I'm gonna retreat. If there's a reason, you guys see the opening grand entrance thing. It, 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 I'll use it. I'll gladly use a health kit for that. He's got one of the few abilities that when you start the match has its own effect. So let's go. The door is open, and there he is. I mean, come on. It's not the best animation in the world, but you're only going to see it at the beginning. <laughs> what kind of streamer would I be if I didn't let you see that? I don't know. One who doesn't have anim an animated opening yet or tells you to click like and subscribe, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, one day I'll put my big boy pants on. Let's see. How do we start this? We need purples and we need yellows, and none of them are available. He likes greens, he likes yellows, and he likes reds. The only thing available is a red, so let's take the red away from him. Make him... Ma oh, there's a red there too. Dang it. <laughs> um... Do I take the green away from him, causing a cascade? Yes, because that will should give me a purple. Watch this. Boom. Do 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 do. Look at that. I almost just took the purple on uh, the yellow up there, just as is, and I'm like, no, wait a minute. Carry the two. We want more purple. Because I mean, what was his max health again? I almost I forgot already. Oh. Well, that was kind of fortuitous. Okay, thank you. Um, his max health is 14,000, so basically when he gets to just above 7,000, we want to be ready to power bomb. We are almost there. And we're there. Okay, so let's just wait it out. Well, I guess we don't have to now. We know the power bomb does 10,000. Well, shoot. I guess we can kill him. Let's go with the yellow first just so you see the animation, though. Yay! <laughs> okay. Well, that was cute. It was like cheering to the crowd before you do your, your finisher, your people's elbow, so to speak. What I wouldn't give for there be an animation of him picking up, like, some static image of the other character and just slamming him down. <laughs> that would be hilarious. But oh well. Anyways, okay, so that was Main Event Hulk's Crash of the Titans. And <clears throat> now let's go against War Machine. <sighs> War Machine isn't quite as glorious to fight against or explain. Okay, so when War Machine came into the game, um, he only had one thing going for him, and that was the fact that people saw that, oh, wow, his blue... Uh, gets rid of all enemy projectiles and invisibility tiles. He just basically exposes the enemy. And I'm talking about if you put it like at max level at five, which he has it at. Okay. It was, I don't know. It was interesting at the time, but people also saw it for like what it was, which was kind of pricey. I want to say it cost like 10, something like that. His red cost like 11 or something like that. His green cost 10 or 11. I don't know. Nowadays, they. It, they did similar things. The red was like a countdown, and your tiles on your turn had like a 35% chance to be attack tiles or something. And when they expired, they did a little bit of damage. The greens were, the green was not an instant fire. The green was countdowns. And when they finished, they were shorter countdowns, was like one or two turns, depending on the level you put them at. But when they finished, they did a, a burst of, of damage to all the gems around them, basically, and uh, did decent damage per countdown tile you didn't get any ap from it either of course but like if you now go back and review what i said every ability was like 10 or higher it was pricey and the two of them were countdowns so you had to wait to get what your payout was there's no wonder why war machine sat in the, sat there and collected dust in everyone's roster no one wanted a your, your your his niche was getting 10 blue so i can expose your invisibility Nah, we'll we'll deal with that later. We'll do that another way. 
I'm not going to pay that price. We're not going to wait that long. By that time, I could be dead. So they buffed him recently. His red uh, does more damage for cheap. Um, still with the whole attack tile making thing too. His blue is cheaper. Still does pretty much the same things, but cheaper and more effective. And his green just instant fires. You don't have to wait for countdowns. It just does some burst damage around the board, could destroy tiles, blah, 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 blah. Um, just like before, the green is usually good when paired with red. You put the red tile out there, then you fire the green. It causes a lot of board shake, more attack tiles fall. That's the general idea of them. Everything's cheaper now, it costs a little, a little less, and does a little more. It's good stuff, but still no one's using War Machine. Let's face it, in this day and age, we all like passive abilities, and he doesn't really provide that. Sorry, War Machine. Sorry, Rody. Without further ado, though, let's see who we're going to use against him. Oh, what do you know? It's Main Event Hulk. You didn't see that coming, did you? Um, yes, it'll hurt if he gets his uh, powers rolling on me. Do I think it's going to happen? No. We're going to use the same technique, too. Except for, like, if I have the purple AP to fire off a power bomb, I'm just doing it. Ready, go. <laughs> Grand entrance. Woo! Peekaboo. Okay, um, we want purple. I almost feel like it's unfair that they put Rhodey on this one. Like, he's not really going to do much here. Just saying. I guess I'll take that. Sir, I had a purple lined up. Kind of ruined. Oh, there's my purple. Thank you. See, Grand Entrance does help sometimes. I probably should aim for yellow just to have you guys see yellow in play. Because we know purple's just going to insta-kill the dude. But if I see purple like this, I'm just going to get it. Um, unfortunately for me, I'm not getting a lot of board shake matches. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. A red countdown. See? They're actually decent attack tiles, but eh, still, what I would I do I want them? Eh. Oh. He actually got the Gatling gun off with the red. Oh no, he's got a crit. Look at this guy go. Wow. Oh, uh, we might actually need to power bomb him sooner than later. I'm not that afraid, but you know. Look at him. I'm almost proud of him. Look at him try. He's like wiggling and stuff. Um, I want the yellow. We want to see a little bit of yellow action. Okay, I have nothing to offer you in a way of invisible. Oh, wow, that actually hurt. Okay. <sighs> if I lose, it's my fault for underestimating him. I should have grabbed the purple early. Okay, so now next turn is power bomb. If I live through this, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, don't kill me. Oh my lord, it happened! Oh, I guess I have to go in there and actually treat him seriously, huh? Dang it. Okay. Okay, Rody, you made your point. Coming back at you. Ah. <sighs> How humiliating. He was like, I don't know, do you think he was listening? And he was like, uh-uh. No one, no one talks that way to me. I mean, sometimes you think, like, does the game have using my microphone on my phone to, like, listen in on us? He was just, I don't know. That was the most effective roadie I've ever seen. Ah. <laughs> uh. Now they're not giving me purple. They're like, oh god, he's trying. Don't give him purple. Don't do it. I wanted to... Uh, I, I gave him the purple, but it's not like he's going to use it. Um, there's no yellow or purple matches for me, so I'm taking your green, sir. Uh, you know... You don't have to be so sore about my, my comments game. Jeez. And of course. Uh, 
I guess I'll take the yellow? Sure. Ugh. He's trying again. No! <laughs> The, the developers are listening. They're like, we made him better. You're going to see it for yourself. Roar. Oh, you even moved my purple. See, there's an example where grand entrance can also ruin you. I had a purple match lined up and it just took it away. <sighs> Heavy sigh. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll just take matches that don't do anything for me. Okay. Yellows. Yay, we're going to get the yellow off before we're near death. Yay! That's what Hulk says right there. I don't know if you can read his lips, but it's, you know, his actual transcript. Okay, don't do that one. That one actually hurt last time. Ow! Okay, crowd goes wild. It's healing. It's healing. It's he Wow, that was... Is that all healing? Or is it AP gen? It was AP generation, wasn't it? And unfortunately, all we need is purple or yellow, so any extra AP on the side is kind of pointless. Don't destroy my crowds. Took my purple though. That's rude. Crowds, yay, yay. More, more black AP because that's what we need right now. If there was any ever anything that I needed, it was black AP. Thank you, game. You totally saved me there. Um, I'll just take the match four. Hey, more crowds. Yay. Some damage. Some random AP, which none of it was purple. <laughs> Here it is. We get to end his trifling life now. I still can't believe he put up such a fight. You can die now. <laughs> yeah, Noble. Yeah, Rody got buffed. But it's like, still. Like, come on. He was dead to rights, and he's just like, no. <laughs> he just got so... He was so mad. Man. Rody uh, did not like the disrespect. I don't know. It'd be like, um, it's, it's, what's War Machine? Come on. War Machine and MPQ is not that much of a threat, even with the buff. It'd be like if you were started to like treat Emma seriously. I know four star Emma got buffed, but, um, I don't expect her to like run me over like a freight train still. Anyways. Okay. That was it. We get the Crash of the Titans for main event Hulk done and, um, we're good for now. Um, I don't even know what the next thing is we're going for. What is the next thing? The next video is the next Crash of the Titans next week? No, there's got to be more things we... Uh, I don't know. I know we have another boss event coming up next week, but hmm, we'll see. There's got to be other things to do in here. Um, but thank you very much for checking. Oh, it's a Noble. Hey, what's up, buddy? Yeah, we are Black Notice Choice. But why not destroy her purple repeater? Oh, they did that because they wanted to get a way out, Noble. I don't know if you're re reading about that. Um, I guess in the old Emma Frost days, um, you could get into diamond form and then you would have no way out of it. Like, let's say the enemy got rid of some of your, your good tiles, some of your good repeaters, right? And you're just sitting there with whatever's remaining. But because you have all these um, fortified tiles out there, you can't change back to fire off powers. You're kind of stuck in that form, unable to do anything. Well, now they basically gave her a way to get out of diamond form to go back to casting abilities. Um, that's it. That's really what they did. Um, that was their reasoning. I, I kind of support it. I like it. Because, I mean, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. You could stay in Diamond Form just don't cast that, right? You know? But um, that's just the uh, the update. Anyways. I should show it if we're going to talk about it, right? Let's see. What was it? Four, yellow, purple, black. 
There she is. <sighs> yeah. Psychic meddling. Purple does destruction of AP and tiles. Blah, 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 blah. Yellow. Create two yellow repeaters to place tiles. It's They are both better and cheaper. And then all of a sudden this one got much cheaper. Four, five, six friendly based tiles. And then... Emma Frost leaves Diamond Form and becomes the girl's best friend. Um, Black now destroys her purple repeater. I'm not seeing where that happens here, actually. I just know they gave you a way to get out of it, and that's this. So if you have, you're in Diamond Skin Form, cast for seven black. Yeah. I'm not seeing where it destroys it. I just knew they gave you way out of it. I thought maybe that's what you were referring to. And I'm wrong on that. I assumed too much. And I apologize. Um, but yeah, they gave you way out. Because before, this used to be just a pure passive. And you couldn't get out of it at all. But now for 7 black, you can get out of it if you want to cast your abilities a bit again. I don't know. I think, I think she's um, better all around. But again, if I was going against Emma Frost in a Crash of the Titans with main event Hulk, I'm pretty sure I should win that match. Um, maybe I'm naive. I just, yeah, I would think I got it. Anyways. Cool. Fun times. All right, I'm going to let you go. It's late. I got to work tomorrow. I'm sure everyone else does too. I'll catch y'all later. Thanks for joining the chat, Noble. Talk to y'all later.